Morning folks, can you see me? You've got the sun in your eyes there. Looking over onto Loch Bar. Perfect day for putting the boat in the water today. So I'm with a couple of friends. I'm with uh, Sam who is just back at the van getting the last bits and pieces of his gear. And Ian who's uh, put in round the corner there. So we were planning to have a night on Elan Volach, but uh, there's a storm coming in uh, in the wee small hours of tomorrow morning and uh, gusting 50 miles an hour, so not conditions for uh, putting a boat on the water. So we're just going to make a day trip of it, so we're up at the crack of dawn on the road up here. We're going to go down to Elan Volach and uh, we might uh, get a wee shore fire going and cook up. We've also got a rod or two with us, so we, uh, we might try a cast or two. So I need to crack on, get this boat in the water while the sun's shining. We'll get back to you in a wee while, folks. What a glorious day, folks. I've let the others get away ahead. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> I can hear them quite clearly, but they're about a kilometre or more away, way down the loch there. The island there with the trees on it is Elan Volach, and that's where we're going to have a bit of lunch. But these lads are intent on their fishing, so they're heading away down the loch. But I'm quite keen to do a little bit of filming to capture some footage for you of this glorious scenery. One of these rare 
autumn days. Hard to believe that there's a storm coming in tomorrow actually. There we are, folks have caught up with them, they're on the island there. Let me turn the camera so I can see you. So I'm just going to pull up on the wee beach there. Maybe rig a fishing rod and have a cast or two. Although I've come all the way down the lock and I think I've seen one fish rising, which was just in behind you there just now. I don't know if you can see that folks but Ian's got a fish Looks like a reasonable size. He said it's just a wee one, but doesn't it look too bad? Right, folks, I'm going to leave these expert fishermen and I'm going to get the fire going. So, folks, we've got a decent fire going here. Produce some coals. Ian's out in the boat still fishing, and uh, Sam is round the corner there by fishing from shore. It's a joy to watch men freshwater fishing when they know what they're doing, but I'm a sea fisherman. I don't, uh, I don't do much freshwater fishing at all. So, and if I do, it's usually just with a wee Meps lure. I've got, I've got a wee boat rod with me, so I might go out and try a cast later. But Sam has brought a very kindly brought a spare fly fishing rod, so I might have a wee go with that. Sorry, I'm getting a bit hot here. Maybe they'd go for the no banana today. Maybe. I well, thought they would maybe look at it, but I don't think they can. You had the no banana. Do you want some rice? I'm going to try a no banana. I mean, if you can get them for lunch. Right, folks, I'm going to get the fire going. Oh, there's a fish. 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 After, excuse me, after the sea fishing, this gear always seems super lightweight, so it's not going to go very far out. How are you doing there, Ian? Oh, it's about my paddle. Aye, you went a long way down there. Uh, it says it's got, you know, it, it's 
looks like it's got woodland on it. Aye. Two trees. <laughs> two trees. Uh, two see trees. these two wee islands there, they look quite nice, but not much use for camping, a bit um, yeah, steep no. sided. Yeah, right, that's right. Yeah. I've got loads of hammocks. All right, there you go. You're, yeah, it, it looks like there might be possible to get a wee bivy tent in on this side, but yeah. I quite like the big island. Are you I trolling know. there? You got your line out? I've got my line out. Right. Oh. Nothing on. I'm in, I'm in. Oh well. I just need to stop there. Probably let it just. Yeah. Let me see if I can spin this boat round a little bit. I'm not quite sure which side it is. I'm still Well done, that's a quite a good size. That's a good size. Oh well, that's a great wee fish. Yeah, like you said. I'll have to show Sam later. It's caught around his gilt. Ah, I see that. I can feel a wee chat for the fire. The fire's been quite good, we'll get him I put in the, I put the other logs on because... I mean, oh, well, that'll be perfect. Um, could you hold that up, uh, Ian, yeah, just yeah, for the, sure. the folks here? Because um, they don't see me catching fish like this because I'm a sea fisherman. <laughs> Beautiful brownie. Yeah. Beauty. There you go. Well done, Ian. Yeah. That's grand. So, she doesn't jump out. So, so Ian runs an outdoor school. What's the name of your school, Ian? Do it outdoors. Do it outdoors. So you can find them online if you're interested in learning about bushcraft and the outdoors in Scotland. Uh, Ian's got a bit of woodland, so you can go there, have a bit of fun. You'd enjoy that. And Got that and cook that in the fire. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's get, that, back. let's get that on the on the fire. It's, uh, Sam's over there. Uh, sorry, Dan's over there. Is he? Aye. So <laughs> Sam went and picked him up. Oh, so. Right, oh, very good. Aye. Damn, so. so he and I are going to paddle over and join Sam and Dan by the fire. I've got a line out myself, but there's nothing on the end of it. out folks which means that I really run the risk of catching the bottom but I think my lure is too close to the back of the boat let's try that it's tightened up Beginning to pick up a wee bit of wind now. The weather's changing. This low pressure. I said there's bad weather coming in tomorrow. There's extreme low pressure coming, and uh, it's going to be quite stormy. I think it will be gusting 50 miles an hour over this water tomorrow. And so our plan to camp on the island tonight was scuppered by the forecast. Maybe it'd be a good one for testing my tent out. Yeah. That smells good. Well, 
Well, Ian, how's that? Better than the best restaurant fish you'll ever get. Get, in fact, you'll never get this in a restaurant. No, you it's wouldn't. Wild brown trout. Not that fish farm stuff you're gonna get. Beautiful. 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 It really is fantastic. Mm. Melt in the mouth. A gift from God. Right folks, a couple of the lads are going to go for a swim, but I borrowed Sam's rod. I'm going to cast it out behind the boat and I'm going to troll it across the width of the lock and back again. So a wee bit exercise for me, but there's a small possibility of catching a fish as well. So, which would be a great end to a lovely day. Far out of my. I think I'm deep enough now. Let me see. Take this line across the lock. Looking at storm clouds brewing over. Ben a character and Ben a creak in there. You probably wonder what I'm talking about. Let me spin you around and give you a wee look. So these two hills there. There's actually three hills there. There's Ben a doe as well. Oh, ben a doe. Away to the right. And then right in front of the boat there, Ben O'Callaghan on the left with the crags and the quarry, and then round to Ben O'Creakin. And then round towards the Glen Lyon Hills. Okay, I'm going to paddle back across the lock. Let's see what's my fishing situation. No fish. I'm going to zigzag a little bit, folks. Just cover a little bit more of the water. He is indeed. Sam's remarking about Ian still trolling. I'm trolling myself actually. I just let a bit more line out there.
But the difference in the weather. Yes. But then I wouldn't have I wouldn't have sacrificed the nice weather. No, no, that was absolutely glorious this morning. And of course the day because the kayak. Yeah. I'm getting a, a nice bit of footage of your kayak there. Oh, the, explain to the folks that it's uh, clear bottomed because you do a little bit of fish spotting. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested as well with the work that I do in the bottom of the river. Yes. The locks. Aye. And so. It gives you good reference for the artwork. Yeah. So Sam's a, an artist. He, when I first met him, when I moved into the village, he told me that he made uh, metal fish, which sounds a bit underwhelming to be honest. And I didn't really know what to make about that. So I checked uh, Sam's website, and his work is just absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. What's your website, Sam? sam-mcdonald.co.uk sam-mcdonald.co.uk check it out folks you'll see some uh, beautiful fish sculptures thank you yeah. oh, you're very welcome sam the, the channel's pretty small it doesn't uh, my videos don't get a huge amount of views but if but, i can uh, if i can point quality of viewer. yeah well that's it i have some high quality viewers if i can point one or two of them in your direction uh, right. i'm sure they would uh, greatly appreciate uh, your work yes Filming from the, the shore gives you some lovely long shots, Sam, but it's uh, I only did a couple of wee bits this morning. It just takes so much time. It's easier when you're on your own, to be honest, and then you can I just... Could, we weren't bothered at all, but you were... Uh, you I were... just... You know... See that island up ahead, Sam? I'd pass it on uh, the left. Uh, I think so. I think we're, we're still... We're about 340 metres away, so... I think we need to go past that. <laughs> <laughs> 